After 4 episodes of the Barca World Career Mode, this is how our current squad is looking. And in today's episode, we're actually gonna approach the January transfer window. And you also gave me some amazing suggestions, which I'm gonna try to actually to accomplish in today's episode. Regarding the standings in the Champions League, we're definitely going through to the next round. We just need to quick sim the next game against Inter. And then we're gonna find out against who we're gonna play in the round of 16. In La Liga, it's looking a little bit more interesting than, for example, in the Champions League. Because because here the difference between us and Real Madrid is only four points. So we're still there, man. We're still in the title race. Sadly, we lost two episodes ago from Real Madrid at Bernabeu. But we're still there, which is the most important thing. Top goal scorer, of course, is the goal Lionel Messi, who is still bowling like crazy for us. 12 goals. Super surprising to me, zero assists, but this will change, man. This for sure will gonna change. Lewandowski with 11 goals and five assists, not a bad performance from Lewandowski, to be honest with you. And then it's Usman Dembele with nine goals and four assists. Pedri with three goals and five assists. He's already 87 overall. Crazy good performance from him. And now, now it's time to actually see how we're gonna do against Inter, because this game basically is just for the statistic, man. Like, doesn't matter what we do, either if we lose, draw, whatever, man. And okay, draw, we're taking that. M most important thing is now to find out against who we're gonna play in the round of 60. Look who actually won the Bowen door. Erling Haaland won it in the first year. This is weird. Like he went, he was at Borussia Dortmund back in the days. Like why he won the Bowen door? This doesn't make any sense at all. It's time for the game against Girona. And here we're actually gonna use the main squad. And again, we're just gonna quick see him because they're 18 in La Liga, man. And actually we won, of course, every single time when we quick see a game with the team that are below the 10th place, we're destroying them. It is super good feeling. So now I really hope that the big games, we can actually perform the right way and just move up in the ranking and just try to catch Real Madrid because so far it's super difficult to catch Real Madrid man. In the round of 16 of the Champions League we're actually gonna face a Napoli which is gonna be super interesting because currently Napoli are in a super good form. Other duos are gonna be Juventus versus Bayern, Leverkusen versus Spurs, Frankfurt versus Porto, Milan versus Real Madrid, <laughs> Dortmund versus Chelsea, Leipzig versus Sevilla and Liverpool. Liverpool versus Paris Saint-Germain. Let's see what Bayern are gonna Bayern are gonna play Juventus. So I really don't know what's better, man. Napoli or Juventus currently? Maybe Napoli, but only time will tell. But now our next game is gonna be against the fourth Real Betis. This is actually gonna be the first game that we're gonna play for today's episode, and I'm super excited to actually test the squad one more time. All right, the game against Betis here. We definitely need to win if we actually want to compete for the La Liga title. And Betis are currently fourth or fifth, I think. So for sure, this is super important game for our future. So let's see. Come on, it's at our stadium. Sadly, it's not no camp, but. I do believe that we're slightly the favorites. And if they score now, we're definitely not going to be the favorites anymore. But when you do have Jules Conde, who is super good in the defense. Oh, give us at least him a yellow, man. He definitely deserves here at least a yellow card. He get at least a yellow card. Okay, he got at least a yellow card for the hood. Maybe we can actually earn him here a red card. He's going to be super good. Lewandowski! Ooh, what a save from Claudio Bravo. Claudio Bravo, how old is he? I really thought he already stopped playing, man. But apparently he is not still retired. Ooh, ooh, ooh to Robert! <laughs> what a save one more time. Come on, Messi. Come on, Messi. Come on, Messi. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what a goal from Lionel Messi, man. This guy is a monster. Honestly, let's just look the replay one more time. What a finish from Messi here. And he actually had a man behind, like on his back. Look at it. What a finish, man. Wow. And Haaland managed to, like, and Haaland won the Bowen door and not Messi. Are you out of your mind? Wow. Honestly, wow, this is 35 years of age. Messi, man, and he's destroying right now La Liga. Come on, Usman Dembele. Come on, Dembele. Give it to Messi. To Messi. Is this going to be his first assist? Yes, he is. Going it. Come on, Ansu Fati. 2-0 now. Now, this is the Messi first assist after almost 18 games in La Liga, man. Like, how is this even possible? 
But the wait was worth it, man. What a finish from Anso Fati. Look at the run, by the way, of Anso Fati. Some of you actually suggest to me to actually put the forwards to run forward and like cut into, into the box of the field. And this is what we did. And maybe this was actually the case here. Anso Fati, amazing run. Ooh. What a block from Jeremy Frimpong here. Honestly, Jeremy Frimpong saved us here big time. Ooh, when they start passing like that, you know that something dangerous is going to happen, man. You just know that. You're not bad here. Definitely not bad. Definitely not bad. Ansofati here. Come on, Ansofati. To Robert. Game over. Game over. 3-0 against Real Betis. This is the fourth in La Liga, man. What a game we played here. Come on. We're already in the January and look what type of offer we receive for Jordi Alba, man. 22.3 million from Manchester City for the boy, but Jordi Alba needs to retire at this club, man. I'm not gonna actually sell him at any price. I know that he's earning a lot of actually wages, but it is Jordi Alba, man. And now, speaking of actually January transfer window, I do believe that it is time to actually follow your suggestions. And so many of you actually gave me the idea of shining Xavi Simon and actually bringing him back to Barcelona. I know that Bernardo Silva is also heavily linked and he can play the same position as Xavi Simon, but I do believe that Xavi Simon is just the future, can be actually the future of Barca and he, the, he can be the perfect, perfect backup of Lionel Messi. So that's why we're actually gonna try to sign him he has a lot of market value 32 million but we're just gonna try to figure it out man first of all i'm gonna offer psv here 35 million let's see what actually they're gonna say well they want almost more than 50 million for xavi simon no 100 percent no 43 million 15 percent seven close this is a lot of money man for a xavi simon Let's try for 40 million. Okay, we do have a deal. Oof, 40 million for Xavi Simon. I still do believe it's too much for him, but he's only 19 years of age, man. So maybe that's why he's that expensive. And he can be super good as a backup of um, Lionel Messi. He also wants a release close of 95 million. Mm, let's try to make it at least 120, man, because come on. I really don't want to leave him for that cheap. No, he wants to stick to 95 million. Okay. If there is this certain rule in La Liga, of course, I'm actually going to try to follow the rule. So, Xavi Simon, welcome actually back to Barcelona because he, I think he played as a youth player there. And now it's going to be his biggest return at this football club. And of course, he's going to learn from the best man. Like Lionel Messi is going to be his mentor. And this is definitely, definitely such a huge advantage of his career. So Xavi Simon, welcome back to Barca. Real Madrid are continuing with the perfect way. They still haven't lost a single game and they actually managed to draw only two times and win the our other 17 games so that's why they do have four points advantage to us and our next game is going to be against Sevilla and here I really hope that we can actually pick up another win in the back and after the recent performance of Ansu Fati I do believe that he deserves actually to play but I'm gonna like play with a little bit different squad than usual i'm gonna put ferran torres instead of dembele and gavi instead of pedri let's see man let's see i don't think that we're actually gonna notice their like disappearances from the starting 11 but let's see and of course after this game man we're gonna probably i'm gonna probably ask you one of the biggest biggest question of this career mode should we bring one player back to barcelona or should we actually not bring him back i don't know if it actually financially is gonna be possible to bring him but for that after this game so let's see come on now come on oh ferran here come on ferran come on ferran show me why you deserve to start oh ansu fati wants the ball ansu fati or a save from Bonu here, but why he decided to shoot with his head, man? Why not with his feet? This was weird to me, to be honest with you, but... Okay, Messi now, Messi now, to Ferran, to Ferran, to Ferran. No, Messi, to Ferran, man. You should have actually passed earlier to Ferran Torres. Mm, and now what a good opportunity for them. No, no, maybe we cannot catch him. Araujo, hoo Araujo, so good at the end. Oh, to Ferran. Oh, Ferran Torres completely wide open. Ferran Torres completely wide open to Robert. 
Aye. Robert Lewandowski 1-0 for us. What a counter-attack. Everything, of course, did Messi, but the pass from Ferran Torres was also pretty good. And, of course, Lewandowski is going to finish that 100%. 12, games, uh, 12 goals already in 17 games for big boy Robert Lewandowski. Come on. Now this is looking really, really good, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, man. How we let Ocampos that wide open, bro? Like, how we actually let him? Huge mistake from Araujo here. And, of course, they're going to actually take advantage of it. 1-0 for... 1-1, uh, sorry. So, the game basically starts from the beginning right now. Ooh, Ansu Fati here. Ooh, Ansu Fati. Ooh, why is Ansu Fati so wide open here? Come on, Ansu Fati. Come on, Ansu Fati. To Ferran. Okay, nice. To Robert. To Messi. To Messi. How can you leave our players that wide open, Sevilla? Of course we are going to score that, man. The Tiki Taka style. The Tiki Taka style is honestly on fire here. What a nice goal. Nice, nice. Look at here. Like, look how no one is actually covering anyone. No one is actually attacking anyone. Like, what are these Sevilla defenders thinking, bro? No way that you can stop us like that. You just need to press us and maybe you can get the ball. But like that? No way. Oh, Messi here. Oh, Messi here. Give it to Ferran. Come on, Ferran. You deserve it. You deserve Ferran Torres. 3-1 versus Sevilla, man. 3-1 versus Sevilla. Come on. Nice. Nice, nice win, man. Back to back, probably super good wins against teams that are in the fourth and also in the fifth spot in La Liga. Pretty good. So what I actually wanted to ask you guys is, should we actually bring Neymar back to Barcelona? His current market value is 85 million and currently we don't have the money for him. But if we manage just to clear out a little bit the club, I do believe that we can actually collect the money for him. But you just need to tell me, man, if you do believe that Neymar does have a place into this squad, then please write it down in the comments. In my personal opinion, we don't need Neymar because we do have Ansu Fati and Ferran Torres. But if you want Neymar that much, we can, of course, bring him to this squad like we brought Lionel Messi back. But Lionel Messi has just more effect on this Barca squad rather than Neymar. And he is heavily linked to, bring, to going back to Barca like Messi. Neymar, I don't see this type of rumors that he's going to go back to Barcelona. I'm not 100% sure about it. So next game is going to be actually the semi-final of the Super Copa de España. And the first leg, or it's only one leg, is going to be actually against Real Betis. And if we manage to win against Real Betis, then we're going to face either uh, Real Madrid or Valencia in the next game. So... This is going to be for sure in this episode and I think this is actually going to be the end of the video when we actually play hopefully the semi-final and the final of the Copa de España. Let's see how the second team is actually going to perform against Real Betis. I really hope it's not going to be a mistake because we're playing with uh, Eric Garcia and also Endica as a center backs which is definitely not a good thing when you go to the semi-final especially against Betis. But I do believe that the boys are ready, man. They're ready just to step up and just basically earn us a spot in the final of this competition. So let's see. And of course, they do have some experienced guys next to them. Oh, give it to Xavi Simon. Oh, Xavi Simon here, wide open. Come on, Xavi Simon. Maybe you can score your first goal. Xavi Simon! Oh, but now. Come on! Usmein Dembele! <laughs> Let's go! Xavi Simon missed here a crucial chance to actually score, but Dembele, man! Dembele! Complete hero! What a nice finish from him! Come on! This was definitely super important. I should have passed earlier. Xavi Simon! Ooh, Claudio Bravo, how is he so good? He's already, I think, for sure, 40 years old or something like that. But he's playing on a top level still, which is super nice for him. Nice, Endika. Ooh, this was super crucial tackle from Endika, to be honest with you. And now, Dembele, Dembele, give it to Ferran. Come on, Ferran, cross it. Ooh, I really thought that he can actually score there. Frankie. Gonzalo Ramos. No, Gonzalo Ramos. How you missed that? You were like two meters away from, from the goal line, bro. And you missed that? What a bad miss from Gonzalo Ramos here. Xavi Simon. Come on, Xavi Simon. Cook. Cook for us. Cook for us. Xavi Simon here. Ooh, but he is fast. This is super good. Xavi Simon still. Let's shoot it. Let's shoot it. Ooh, Claudio Bravo with a good save. 
Let's see. Important second half here, guys. For sure, a very, very important second half. I really hope we can score somehow the second and just don't need to even bring Lionel Messi next to this game. Like, this is going to be super good if we can actually rest our best player for the final of the Copa de España. Because for sure, he wants to leave some trophies. Gavi, Gavi, 2-0, 2-0, man. The youngsters, the youngsters are doing the job. But we're taking the ball straight away to Xavi Simon. Xavi Simon! Let's go. Debut goal for the youngster. Xavi Simon. Welcome. Welcome to Barcelona, man. Come on. 3-0 against Betis. Let's go to the final. And look who we're actually going to face in the final. I really expected that to be Real Madrid. But no, it's going to be Valencia. So Valencia managed to beat Real Madrid 2-0 in the semi-final. Okay, I really want Real for the El Clasico, but apparently it's going to be Valencia. And of course, here we're going to rely on the main squad. And the Valencia squad is tired. <laughs> of course, they're going to be tired, man. They beat Real Madrid like three days ago. Now they expect to beat us. No. And we're actually fully fresh for the game because we rested almost every single player of our starting 11. Such a good tactic, man. Like so, so good. Come on now. Let's show them. Let's show let's show them how good of a team we actually are. And of course, with the great leader that we do have in Lionel Messi. Frankie de Jong to Messi. Ooh. Good try from Messi, but better save from their goalkeeper. Nice and so fat here to Robert. Robert Lewandowski, what a turn! Ooh, ooh. What a miss from Robert Lewandowski. But the turn was on another level man honestly on another level come on we are playing much much better than valencia so far we missed two good opportunities we just need to score the first goal man and if we score the first for sure they're gonna start crumbling and they're gonna let us score more goals nico gonzalez it's our player and if he actually score against us this is gonna be so sad man but it's part of the game jeremy Frimpong here to messi leo messi leo messi to ansu fati why you didn't pass earlier to Ansu Fati, man? This was a great opportunity for us. And now look at Cavani. Look at Cavani waiting for us. But Araujo. Araujo was there to actually cover it, man. Nice, Araujo. Good tackle here. One more time to Ansu Fati. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, I think he's in offside. Ah, I think he's in offside. No, he was not in offside. Messi! Oh, bad idea to actually try to chip him from there. How was this not an offside, man, from Robert Lewandowski? This must have been super close then. Oh, Messi now. Messi now. Okay, to Frankie de Jong. And now Robert Lewandowski is not in offside. And you know what's gonna happen. Robert! Come on! 1-0 for us in the final of the Super Copa. Maybe we're actually gonna lift our first trophy for the season. And this is gonna be honestly amazing if we can manage to achieve that. Come on, Robert! Very, very important goal here. Oh, Dembele versus Gaia here. Give it to Messi. No, oh, to Messi, to Messi, man. Doesn't matter. Hans of Fati. <laughs> wow. Like, it's so good, man. Like, honestly, we're so good currently and we're honestly unstoppable. Like, I really expected for us actually to be Real Madrid here in the final. Super difficulty. Then it was actually Valencia. And of course, Valencia were going to destroy it when they actually beat Real Madrid two days ago. So... Come on, let's just try to score the third, I guess. What a nice interception from Ansu Fati, but the pass after that was not good. And the celebrations can begin. And of course, Lionel Messi is going to lift his first trophy back at Barcelona. What a nice scene, man. Come on, Leo. Come on, Leo. Lift this beautiful trophy. Lift it. Come on. Yes. Copa de España champions, one trophy down, a lot more to go. I think three more are still left to actually play for and win for. So we still do have so much unfinished business, man. Honestly, it's getting ridiculous how good we are playing right now. Oh, Real Madrid actually managed to drop points in La Liga. So now the difference between us and them is going to be only two points. And we do need to actually play them, I think, next time. Now I think we do have a game against Mallorca and then it's the game against Real Madrid. So 
it is looking good man i really hope you actually enjoyed today's episode of course if so then please leave a like and also subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't already and also tell me about neymar man what should i do should i actually buy him should i not go for him tell me tell me in the comments but now i'm out and i wish you a great day bye bye